In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you seven eye exam tips. And whether you are preparing for your first ever eye exam or your 90th, these tips should help you have a better experience visiting your eye doctor and maybe even help you get a more accurate glasses prescription. Let's take a look. Hey, what's up everyone? Dr. Allen here from the Dr. Eye Health Show, helping you learn all about the eyes, vision, finding the best vision products. Tip number one is try to relax and not stress about it. I know some people get really worked up about their vision test, they don't wanna get things wrong and end up with a high glasses prescription. But if you try to squint during the exam or try to lean forward and sort of cheat, then you're really just making things harder for yourself. Think of it, if you squint while doing an eye exam, there's a good chance you're gonna end up squinting with your glasses. I went to school for eight years, plus residency, fellowship, and board certification. So trust us, we know what we're doing. Tip number two is on that same note, try not to stress out about the refraction, also known as the better one or two test. That's where you look through this device and we ask you if something looks better one or better two. Mm. One. Mm -hmm. Two. Uh, Just pick I, one, Just whichever's clearer to uh, you. Uh, if you happen to have a tie, that's good. In fact, that's great, because that means the lenses you're looking through are just about perfect for your glasses prescription. And an extra pro tip is that if you are somebody who's very perceptive and you notice suddenly the letters look smaller and darker with each lens, let whoever is doing the refraction know that you're seeing that because that could mean they're giving you too much power. And sometimes you don't want more power in your glasses. In fact, a lot of people need less. So. Keep an eye out for that one. Let's go on to tip number three, and that's to try not to hold your breath or tense up during the eye pressure check. Your doctor is gonna need to check your eye pressure to make sure you don't get glaucoma, a potentially blinding eye disease. And whether your doctor is checking that with the Goldman tonometer, which is the cool blue light I have here, or the eye care tonometer, my personal favorite, or using the ever famous air puff test, if you are to hold your breath and tense up during this check, it may artificially spike your eye pressure and your doctor is then gonna to want to do it again to verify it. And nobody really likes having this test done, so if you can get it done on the first try, that's the best. Tip number four is to bring along copies of any vision benefit cards as well as your medical insurance because many medical insurance plans cover eye examination services and you may be able to charge the exam portion to your health insurance, leaving more benefits to use towards contacts, glasses, and sunglasses, etc. Tip number five is that along with your insurance information, bring along a list of any and all medications that you may take, as a lot of medications can affect the eyes, causing blurred vision, dry eyes, and even some medications can cause corneal and retinal damage. So it's gonna be important for your eye doctor to know what you're taking. But having an updated list, whether it's on a piece of paper or on a note on your smartphone, that's gonna help you out for any medical examination. Tip number six just to make your exam go easier and smoother, if you already have prescription eyeglasses, bring in your old prescriptions with you. Same thing for any contact lens boxes or a copy of your contact lens prescription. This helps us know what you've been wearing in the past so we can compare and tell if things have changed or even if they maybe need to change or just stay the same. Oh, and if you plan to get contact lenses updated, you don't necessarily have to wear your contact lenses into the exam, but at least try to bring some in with you so that if you do want to get them updated, we can put them on your eye and see what you've been wearing and do the thorough evaluation. It'll just make things go a lot smoother and save both of us time. Tip number seven. Now, my final and in my opinion, probably the most important tip I can give anybody is that when you have your eye exam, expect and prepare that your eye doctor is going to dilate your eyes. That means your doctor is going to put an eye drop into your eye that's going to cause your pupil to get really big. And whether your doctor recommends this every year or every other year, this is so, so very important because it allows your doctor to better see inside of your eye and detect different eye diseases and systemic diseases that can show themselves 
in the back of the eye. Because it's not just about getting you the best eyeglasses or contact lens prescription, it's about making sure that your whole body and your eyes are staying healthy, because we certainly don't want you to go blind or anything like that. And unfortunately, most blinding eye diseases don't really present themselves until it's too late. So catching it early is always the best option. Hey, if this video helped you out, smash the like button for us and let us know in the comments which one of these tips is your favorite. Otherwise, help us out by sharing this with friends and family so that they can all have better eye exams as well. And hey, if you are a glasses wearer yourself and you haven't seen our glasses tips, tricks, and hacks video, go ahead and click the screen right over here so you can check that out. Otherwise, keep an eye on it. See you in the next one.